M A yeah. R S. Red Rocks. <laughs> yay, yay. Yay, yay. <laughs> exactly. So the acting administrator of NASA, Sean Duffy, uh, come out and do a victory lap mm -hmm. that we, we, we might have got him. Yeah. It seems to be a tantalizing sign that there might have been microbial life on Mars way, way back. Mm -hmm. Back when Mars looked kind of like Earth. This primordial baby Mars that had liquid water. Right. We know that now from our several missions there. The next thing we should do is try to equip um, a laboratory on Mars that can run around like a rover and try to look for biosignatures. And that's where the Perseverance rover came in. This is a SUV packed with like a whole building's worth of lab equipment, <laughs> right? Um, NASA JPL decided, okay, we're going to go to the Jezero crater. It's a crater that had, um, that we're pretty sure had like a lake. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a river delta system okay. that was going into it. So it, there's these beautiful like traces of river valleys going into this crater. So, you know, there's a lot of really nice sedimentary rock that's going to be there. And you're going to see if there's life on Mars, that's a really good place to go. Mm -hmm. Now, the best thing to do would be to just search for organic compounds. Okay. Right? The problem with finding organic compounds on Mars is it's really hard. It's got no atmosphere and very little magnetic field. There's going to be a lot of radiation from the sun. Right. And that radiation from the sun over the past 3 billion years gonna, is just going to completely wreck these yeah. organic compounds, right? right? So what you want to do is you want to look for inorganic compounds that have signatures of being made by organic chemistry, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And so that's what this story is, okay. okay? This story is focusing on two classes of compounds, iron phosphates and iron sulfides. And phosphorus and sulfur very much something that is associated with life on Earth. Okay. Okay. So finding these things is very, very nice. The way that they found these is very conspicuous. Okay. Okay. It's very weird. It's mm -hmm. not like part of the rock itself. Okay. So the, you've got this like substrate of rock. It's got a lot of iron. And then you have these like little, they're like little tiny like beads yeah. of stuff. And the only way that these things could have really happened is through something called a redox reaction. Okay. These reactions are basically ways to transfer electrons mm -hmm. from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. And we know that organic chemistry does this really well. Okay. So in the underlying clay, yes. they could actually see um, carbon. And the gradient of carbon yeah, yeah. was coinciding yeah, yeah, with, with how much of this stuff you were seeing. Yeah. Now it's getting exciting. Yeah. That chemistry is very, very organic-y. Yeah, 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 okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that chemistry is very life. Life, yeah. uh, so life adjacent, yeah. if I if I may say, <laughs> if I may right? say, <laughs> right? So so that's that's the whole point. It's a potential biosignature. In order to actually really nail it down, what we're gonna need is the sample to come back to Earth.